Y chromosome mutations and sex reversal. Many organisms have one pair of sex chromosomes on each cell. In mammals, including humans, the Y chromosome is the one of the two sex determining chromosomes. Males have one Y chromosome and one X chromosome, while females have two X chromosomes. In mammals, the Y chromosome contains a gene, SRY, which triggers embryonic development as a male, otherwise known as testy development. In humans, the Y chromosome spans about 58 million base pairs, which, is our, which are the building blocks of DNA. This represents approximately 2% of the total DNA found in humans. The human Y chromosome contains 86 genes, which code for only 23 distinct proteins. Traits that are inherited via the Y chromosomes are called hologenic traits. No vital genes reside only in the Y chromosome, since roughly half the humans, the females, do not have X do not have Y chromosomes. The mutation of the chromosome is separated as the disorder of the numbers or the structure. These mutations can be found at the origin and the sex chromosome. As the disorder of the numbers of the sex chromosome, there is clean Faltz syndrome, there is XXY karyotype, and there is XYY syndrome. And as a disorder of the structure of the sex chromosome, there is a Y chromosome microdeletion. It is genetic disorders caused by missing genes in the Y chromosome. And defective Y chromosome, it is present a female phenotype even though that person possesses an XY karyotype. XY sex reversal refers to the development of abnormal gonads with female characteristics in a person with sex chromosomes XY. XY sex reversal occurs because of defects in nucleocytoplasmic transportation of SRY, caused by the V60L allele and the 190M allele. Let me explain. SRY is the sex-determining region of the Y chromosome that initiates human testes formation, and the V60L allele and 190M allele are part of a group of chromosomal proteins involved in the regulation of DNA-dependent processes like transcription and translation. While the V60L allele impairs import into the nucleus, the 190M allele impairs export out of the nucleus. These impairments decrease shuttling of active SRY into the nucleus. This reduces the occupancy of DNA sites responsible for differentiating cells into testy cells, causing XY sex reversal. Human embryos with XY chromosomes possess a gene called SRY on the Y chromosome. Human embryos develop into females by default, but SRY in males initiates development of the male phenotype. This gene codes for a protein of the same name that is synthesized in the cytoplasm of cells, which then activates other genes that control the development of male characteristics. The SRY protein must be able to get into the nucleus in order for this to occur. This process occurs when SRY attaches to other proteins headed into the nucleus. However, mutations on the SRY gene can prevent the pro protein product from being efficiently imported into the nucleus. When such mutations arise, the dependent male development genes are not activated as frequently, thus the activity of these genes falls. If the gene activity falls below a certain threshold, an embryo will develop into a baby girl despite its Y chromosome. Though female reproductive organs and tissues will develop, the individual will be infertile. This condition is called the Stewart syndrome, a form of gonadal dysgenesis. So one would expect that the gene activity would have to fall significantly in order to institute change in sex development. Such activity had to fall only by a factor of two in order for a failure in the development of male characteristics to occur. This contradicts the principle that evolution favors reliability and uniformity. After all, Robust genetic switches should ensure that our genetic programs give rise to a consistent body plan. Trans research employing mutated SRY genes shared by a father and a sterile XY daughter indicates that male sexual development is less stable than other genetic programs, with SRY activity balancing precariously just above the right threshold for producing testes. Given the importance of sexual reproduction to the survival of a species, why do human SRY genes function so close to the boundary of infertility? One theory suggests human evolution has favored variability in the pathway of male development, resulting in diversity in male brain development due to differences in testosterone secretion between individuals. Thus, society benefits from varied perspectives, ideas, and solutions. 
leading to innovation. Such a theory implies that elements of human culture assumed to be psychological may, in fact, be biological. Human evolution, then, may be dependent on variability.